when I turn this computer on, it shows just shows the startup screen, and then it just flashes to black. Um, most computers will say boot system not found. There's a blinking cursor up here in the corner. Um, but anyway, that shows that there is nothing on this computer. So, I need to go ahead and insert my Windows 7 disk. Go ahead and make it start again. And it should boot from the CD drive. If your computer doesn't boot from a CD drive, you'll need to go to setup. On mine it said hit F2 for setup. And that'll allow the computer to boot from the CD. Obviously mine needs me to do that. So whenever it comes up it'll say hit F2 to enter setup. I gotta hit F2 real fast. I've got to find the boot sequence. Right here it says it's going to try the onboard CD-ROM drive first and then go to the hard drive. That's what we want. So I'm going to inter put in my Windows 7 installation disk. Turn on the computer. Computer will boot. It'll boot from the CD drive because I've configured that already. It just takes it a little bit. Here it says Windows is loading files. So it'll take a while for it to maybe you know up to five minutes for it to load these initial files it says it's starting windows so it still says it's uh, starting windows it's been about five minutes you can see the CDs running hard drive lights on so it's it's loading files still in preparation for setup okay so we select the language we want time and currency format English keyboard format US next and since this is a brand new fresh install we don't really have to worry about any of these features just click install So the setup is starting. You have to agree to the uh, software license terms in order to install. So you have to click this button, click this uh, checkbox and hit next. Um, here's a couple options, either upgrade or custom. Um, if you want to do a new install, choose custom. If you have a previous version of Windows on this computer, you can hit Upgrade. So I'm just going to hit Custom. I only have one drive, one disk drive in this computer, so it already has it selected. If you have multiple drives, you can select um, where you want to load it. We'll go Next. And then it takes off here. Looks like this part where it's expanding the files might take a little while. The next screen, I need to type in a username. So you can type in your name here. And then also a name for your computer. If you have a network, then you might care what the uh, computer name is. Otherwise, just anything is fine. The next screen asks, asks for a password. If you don't want to set a password, just hit next again.
Now we need to type in the product key. This next screen wants to know if you want to turn on uh, automatic updates. Generally you want to use the recommended settings. Just go ahead and click. Okay, now it needs to know the time zone. Go ahead and grab your time zone. Set the time if you need to. And then go ahead and set, if you're already connected to the internet, go ahead and select um, where you're at. Usually, if you're at home, you're going to go ahead and click this home network. Windows is finalizing. And loading up for the first time. Windows has just booted up for the first time. You can see that since I turned on automatic updates, uh, Windows is already downloading some updates. So something that's extremely important, um, you can let Windows go ahead and download these updates. It's claim, claiming to download, but there will be a lot of updates that you need to download. So um, it'll probably download and you can install and it'll restart the computer. Um, but whenever the computer restarts, you need to come in here and go ahead and click on all programs and select this uh, Windows update right here. And you're going to need to repeatedly um, launch this Windows update and it'll download updates and your computer will restart and then you download more uh, until your computer is completely up to date. Um, Windows updates will have uh, security updates, but also um, you can uh, download drivers for your hardware, say for your CD-ROM drives or your audio drivers. Um, they can be found just by open up this, opening up Windows Update and checking for updates. As you can see right now, the first one it's doing right here, well there was a security update. It was downloading a uh, display uh, driver. As you can see, uh, Windows Update wants me to restart the computer. And you might as well do it. You're going to need to do this uh, quite a few times. I'd say probably at least five times, five or more. Um, until your computer is completely up to date and ready to go. And don't forget to for sure put on antivirus.